It is April 7th, 2022, and we are picking up right where we left off yesterday, the episode June 15th, 2021, Revisited the Roommates. I hope this is a lightning round because I have just covered all this stuff, oh gosh, two weeks ago. So here we go. So we pick up the story in September, October of 2020, Allie, Jose Roman, Ellie's kids are at Candace's house, and Andrew Hiltz has left for New York. With the 12 people he came down with, Don is still in Utah with his eldest son, and for a few days, everyone is one happy, raucous family, all living at 110 Ben Hill Road. Ellie has a job, and she is away some days. She put groceries in the house once during that week, contrary to what she told Chris McDonough of the interview room when they were interviewed about Summer's disappearance. The little paradise commune up on 110 Ben Hill Road didn't last very long. On September 26, 2020, a 911 call is placed by Allie stating she needs police help to retrieve her children from 110 Ben Hill Road. Allie has already left the premises. She was taken to work by Candy Hare, and it's now sometime later in the day. Apparently, the competition for Jose's attention got heated, and Allie alleged that Candace was going to blow her head off. And I'm sure you're all wondering, just like me, how do you leave your children in such a volatile situation? This was only five days into Jose's tenancy. Jose chose to rent from Candace because he believed there was nothing left for him in New York, and Tennessee was just as good a place as any to wait out the interim between moving and his new employment contract where he would be moving on anyway. It seemed Don initially had no problem with the arrangement and spoke to Jose several times on the phone. Candace, on the other hand, seemed to think it was an ideal opportunity to motivate Don to get home faster because she did not want to live in Utah and the sale or rental of the house wasn't going as planned, it would seem. On October 6, 2020, there's a Facebook post of Candace and Don and Summer. Don appears to be filling out paperwork to register the little white truck we're familiar with in the state of Tennessee. Perhaps he bought it in Utah. By that time, Jose had a part-time job and Candy Harris taxi service was transporting Jose back and forth to work. Don went back to work for Tucker Drywall as a subcontractor, and as payday rolled around, the same cycle of drinking in the evening and arguing themselves into exhaustion started up between Don and Candace. In that next week, a series of skirmishes also occurred between Don and Jose. On October 14th, there was a physical alteration between Don and Candace, leading to an altercation between Don and Jose. Candace called 911, and Don was hauled off to jail. Don was only in jail a couple of days, and in the interim, Candy Hare suggested to Jose that it might be a good idea to hightail it out of town if there was some other place she would be willing to drive him to that wasn't across the country. A plan was made and Harry, can, a plan was made and Candy Hare drove Jose to Rock Hill, South Carolina, and we've seen the proofs of that, unlike the mysterious U-Haul rental truck. That's it for Jose's episode. Thanks so much for joining me. Tomorrow we will pick it up a couple of months later, closer to summer's disappearance. God bless you. I'll see you real soon.